So I'm out here on this emergency call and uh, I kind of speculated what the problem was before I got here based on what the problem reported to me was. Okay, so I'm gonna call. Um, this is actually a pseudo emergency call. There's a tenant moving in here tomorrow and there's no power in the uh, kitchen on the oven, the microwave, and the, uh, and the stove. So I'm gonna try to think through this as much as possible verbally uh, so that you can see what I'm thinking. Um, I already have an idea what the problem is, being that it's three appliances in the kitchen. So my first thought is that it's uh, either a circuit uh, breaker, uh, which uh, I think they already checked, so which, which tells me that the breaker might be bad, or it could be a GFCI that's uh, controlling a few of the outlets that's bad. So uh, I'm going to try to do this uh, sort of live. It'll be you know pre-recorded, but we'll take a look at it inside. here and let's see if we can set this up. The, uh, the problem as reported was the, uh, the stove there, the microwave, and the uh, dishwasher here were not working. Now I guess there's a tenant moving in here. So that I can sink. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is get my meter, just check for some power here. Just to see, get an idea of what's working and what's not. Make sure that I can see the same thing or uh, everything that uh, they saw when they, before they reported the problem. So a multimeter, I'm gonna set it to AC voltage. So I'll kind of walk some of this through. You can see that uh, right there. Okay, AC voltage, that's the voltage with the sine wave above it. So, and then I'm just gonna test a couple of outlets here. See what happens. So there's no power there. This is a GFI I'm testing. Actually, it'll be better if you see everything that I'm doing. So, so there's the GFI. All right, so got no power there. It's not resetting. Okay, so let's uh, let me go to another one here. I'm expecting this one not to work. Also, oh, there we go. Ah, look at that. There was no power and I reset that. No, there is power, so let's go back over to the cellar one here. So on the way over here, I was thinking about it and trying to come up with an idea of what the problem might be. I thought it was in the circuit breaker, but because there's three, three problems, I figured it was because it might have affected this one. So let's see. No power. Reset. We're getting close. Okay, so probably is what happened is now um, they probably had the breakers off, and when all the breakers are off, is what happens is all the GFIs get reset. Oh, look at that! Check this out. So there's the stove. Look at that! Watch this. There's the microwave. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this outlet's working. Let's go to this one here. And this is off. The GFI is on now, and there is good power. Um, so they said it was the, the stove that wasn't working, the microwave, and the dishwasher. Let's see. I'm not sure about this thing. I don't know how this works. Oh, there's power. Okay, good. So there's power there. So I'm not going to pull this out to see if uh, there's actually 120 volt at the receptacle, but 
I believe it is safe to assume, since everything else is working with power. Let's check the garbage control. That guy works there. And I tested the rest of the appliances and the outlets. Everything else came on. There's the microwave, there's the oven blinking. And microwave is good. Just for good measure, I'm going to test the voltage up here in the receptacle to the microwave. Twenty volt, and so I think we're looking good here. Normally, um, it's probably what they were doing when they were remodeling the place. They uh, probably had all the breakers off or reset the breakers at some point in time. And then when the breaker is turned off, it actually trips the GFI. So the GFI, let me show this to you, is off. Or I'm sorry, the GFI is on right now. So when the um, Breaker is turned off or tripped. The GFI will look like that. It won't trip like I just did it, but it'll actually be off like that. And so when the breaker is turned back on, if the circuit breaker is turned back on, the GFI remains tripped and you have to actually reset it. So uh, this is just a lesson learned actually that I'll have to show the property management company. So, I mean, I'll be glad to come out here and test this every time, but uh, when they have people that come in between tenants, they can actually check this themselves. So. So I just came in the kitchen, tested a couple outlets, and um, this GFI right here was tripped, which caused it. Um, I'm just gonna check a couple other outlets while I'm here, make sure everything's looking good. So this is another outlet. Let's see if you can see that. 119, which is good. And I think we're actually good to go here. So that one was pretty quick and easy. I wasn't sure what I was gonna see when I got here, but uh, I took a chance, there's the oven light. Yeah, so six minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, troubleshooting a couple appliances. So what the, um, the owner or the property management company saw when they reported the microwave uh, not working and the stove not working, and the uh, dishwasher not working. Instead of being three problems, I assumed my first inclination was that it was actually just one problem, uh, which turned out to be accurate, uh, that it was just a trip GFI. Um, sometimes the, the GFIs can be um, wired to protect other outlets in the kitchen. So one GFI can actually protect multiple outlets that are on the same circuit. So. Uh, that's what I thought it was. Actually, I thought it might have been the breaker outside, but in this case, it was actually uh, right here in the kitchen. So uh, that was an easy one. So they're not always like that. Quite often, they're not always like that, but uh, that was a good one. So I guess I'm out of here. Less than 10 minutes. Time to go home. So hope that helped a little bit, give you an idea of how to troubleshoot uh, some basic electrical problems. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. So as a courtesy, I just checked a couple of other outlets, uh, checked their panel, and set the clocks. I'm out of here.